Hello, welcome to the Cleo Ra Alchemy Tarot Station, the place where I try my best to teach you all about your sovereign self and perhaps a few keys to the universe to top it off. You never know what you're going to get here, but I want to introduce you to your sovereignty and to who you truly are at a spiritual high vibrational level. So I'm going to be looking into the chakra energies for Aries. Um, and seeing what comes up uh, for the next couple of weeks in each center, for those of you that have been drawn here, there's probably a message in here for you somewhere. Um, it may not be the whole thing resonates, but spirit probably wants you to hear something or become aware of something. So I'm going to shuffle these cards here and split the deck. Can I have energies? Ooh, ten of Wands flipping over. A few of them flipped over. Right. Can I please have energies for Aries please spirit okay I'm going to stop shuffling there okay root chakra we've got the nine of pentacles sacral chakra we've got the sun solar plexus we've got the six of cups heart chakra we've got the six of pentacles throat chakra we've got the justice Pineal, we've got the five of pentacles and to crown we've got the ten of wands so that ten of wands did want to be out here okay aries okay so i see here at the root chakra you've got the nine of pentacles which i think is a beautiful energy to have at your root this is all about you valuing self you being self-reliant you being prosperous getting yourself to a point where you're living a luxury lifestyle you could be thinking a lot about security at this time and funnily enough, the Nine of Pentacles is a card of the individual being rooted in the physical and having manifested a great amount of abundance and personal security, knowing who they are and living a beautiful life because they've got the currency and they can flow and they can be who they really feel like they are because they've established some sort of, I'll call it what it is, power in their currency and they're living life how they want to live it. So there's a real sense of independence with the Nine of Pentacles as well. Okay, leading on to the sun, you may be feeling really creative at this time. If you've had a project that you were thinking, should I, shouldn't I? I mean, Aries, you're, you're good at getting on with things and doing things. This is a big red light. Not a red light. <laughs> Funny I said that. This is a big green light. But when I said red light, I could literally feel the power of that red chakra that red energy so there are no coincidences in tarot so this is a big go ahead sign for you to get on with any creative projects you've wanted to do okay we've got the six of cups in the solar plexus center so you could have a really beautiful feeling of security of home of being around people who make you feel good and feel comforted this is a soulmate card and it does represent childhood and nostalgia and beautiful energies like that so you could have a soulmate coming in or you could be in a situation where you feel particularly secure at the moment i really do like these three cards uh representing the lower three chakras because this gives me the indication that you're doing really well and that you've got you've got some really powerful energies that you're using right now we've got the six of pentacles in the heart center area so the six of pentacles is about being there for people when they need a helping hand it can be seen as a card of charity and of flowing your energy to people and being there for people when they really need you or it can obviously represent someone being there for you when you feel like you really need them justice in the heart center and i will sum up the energies all together but for now i'm just going through card by card there's a real feeling of balance here um in your life i feel um with justice i feel like you guys are finding some sort of balance emotionally okay and it ties in quite well with the six of cups it's almost like you found your footing i'm getting you found something that is really going to help you now i say that because we've got the ten of wands here in the crown chakra positioning and we've got the five of pentacles in your pineal positioning so it almost feels like contradictory energies here. It's almost like you're rooted and there are energies available or that are gonna become available. 
but I feel like there may be something weighing on your mind here or a sense of aloneness or perhaps money worries but with the nine of pentacles here in your root chakra posi positioning it's letting me know that there's some idea I feel that's going to give you that sense of security that you may feel like logically is missing right now so this is all about finding an energy and having faith in an energy before you manifest that's the kind of vibe I'm getting <laughs> So how would I explain it better? Um, you getting yourself into an independent and beautiful mindset with the Nine of Pentacles will take you to that channel of life, okay? Things are always shifting with timelines and variables and the choices we make. And I feel like what is, this is saying to you is, for those of you who are worried about money or you have got some sort of burdens or insecurities going on in your life, this is basically saying keep a generous heart keep flowing that energy out be balanced in yourself no matter what's going on around you okay you've got to have faith in that which is unseen to make it manifest so if you value what you already have and you make yourself feel like you're living a life of luxury even if it's just cooking yourself a meal that you really love it can really put you on that frequency of luxury and abundance that will then bring more into your life also, they're pulling me to the Six of Cups, so perhaps for some of you, focusing in on situations in the past that were beautiful and were harmonious and were lovely and balanced and, and lit up your soul, I feel like that's going to help you to manifest more of that in, all right? They're kind of wanting you to be vibrant here with the Sun card. They're wanting you to be generous no matter how poor you feel, because that's how you attract in the abundance when you feel like you've got nothing, okay? Now, I'm not saying all of you feel like you've got nothing. Perhaps there's just some niggling little thing that's sort of getting to you or something you're worried about, okay? Ten of Wands at the top. Okay, the Ten of Wands gets a bad rap of being the card of oppression and overwork and being quite a burdensome card, but it can also represent spiritual power. It can represent having ten whole wands of fire power wands represent fire in tarot they represent that spiritual push we can get and i feel like you've got a storehold i feel like you've got like almost like in your cache you've got a cupboard full of fire waiting to be transmuted waiting to be turned into nine physical pentacles where you'll really be feeling like you can be who you want to be here this is just a reminder from spirit with the justice card in the heart chakra positioning sorry not the heart chakra the throat chakra to be fair and to be balanced okay this is also about being fair to yourself speaking up for yourself okay but six of pentacles in the heart chakra space and justice in the throat chakra space there may be a situation you're dealing with where you feel like you've got to be fair and balanced or you're trying your best to see it from both sides i feel like overall make the most of this ten of wands because like i say then there, there may be a little a lot of spiritual power that you're sitting on with the sun in the sacral chakra positioning it's a sign to get that fiery nature moving okay so cups would mean emotional energy swords are obviously intellectual power and pentacles are obviously physical manifestation but wands are actually some of my favorite cards because they represent that spiritual power and I love a good occultist and you know harnessing that power of the universe through the channel of the self is a beautiful thing okay we've got the nine of wands here on top of the ten of wands so maybe some defensiveness but what the nine of wands tells us is that you're very close to achieving something I'm getting they're telling me tipping the scales tipping the scales you're very close to tipping the scales with something you're doing it may involve something you've got to say to do to someone or something you've got to do to push the energy on. I'm going to clarify this five of pentacles here for you and see what that's all about. Can you give me the five of pentacles, please, spirit? Wow, nine of cups. So this is a funny contrast because it's almost like you feel like you could get everything you want with this nine of cups representing emotional fulfillment a dream come true, wish fulfillment. And it's almost like 
all or nothing energy. You're either you're either going to feel in your mind, of course, as something maybe you're worried about is going to either leave you feeling like completely alone, like you didn't win, or you're going to get it all piled on a plate for you. Funny contrast here: complete emotional fulfillment, or or complete. I'm going to just say it how spirit is is giving it to me, or complete failure. I'm getting the vibe that this could be some sort of friendship or some sort of relationship here that you're kind of thinking will I get with that person won't I get with that person what spirit saying here with the justice uh, the judgment card sorry is that whatever happens it's for the greater good and you will be on the right path here wow six of cups again I feel like maybe for a lot of you your worries will be Un, un, ungrounded they're not going to really come to fruition I feel like you are on the right path but this is saying just keep your energies flowing keep your voice fair and your heart generous and remember to look up at the sky and soak in all that beautiful life force energy and appreciate all that you have to get yourself in this beautiful abundant positioning here let me ask about this nine of pentacles the devil the three of swords and the eight of wands okay so this seems to me like maybe a toxic situation that you've kind of flown away from and you're thinking right you know what i'm never going to end up in that situation again i literally want to be independent i want to be strong sorry about my phone there i want to be rooted in pure independence and i think that's a beautiful thing I've learned recently that you've got to be rooted in your own emotional independence, physical independence before you can get with someone. Otherwise, you just keep attracting these devils. You know, you just keep getting communications and things you don't want from these toxic people. And there are so many of them that it can get overwhelming in the 3D, can't it? Okay, let's look at the sun here three of cups so this is about celebrating really finding the joy in life you know when we've been through a, a crappy relationship or whatever it can be so easy for our minds to sort of be in a hypnotic state where we feel like crap but having the power to really come back out into the light typical isn't it as soon as I'm doing a reading my phone just won't stop going off how funny all right airplane mode okay this is about happiness as an investment with the seven of pentacles here and the three of cups and the sun card. This is about you realizing that the only reason we ever want anything in the physical is because we think it will make us feel better by having it. Yeah, I've stole that from Abraham Hicks for, for those of you that are, are listeners of, of the stuff. Um, but the sun card here, it's like really, you know, spring is here. All that appreciation we can conjure up for the flowers and the sunshine and for our own creative talents. I feel like for some of you, you might be good at party planning or you might be good at artwork or you might be good at just creating things from a beautiful, heartfelt place. And I feel like getting into your creativity is the best thing you can do at the moment. And it will really connect you energetically to some really beautiful energies here. I'm not getting the urge to pull another card for the sun. I think that pretty much covers it. I'm going to look at the six of cups for you. And Aries, you're such powerful people, you know, that I think, you know, your energy is some of the most beautiful. Aries, god of war. Okay, so you may decide to work with someone or I'm getting the sense of going on a path with, with someone new here that you could you could be working with on a new physical I've got the ace of pentacles and the three of pentacles so it kind of feels like to me you might get an epiphany about how you could work with someone in a job or something like that let me see what other energies I can get off of this you might start seeing someone differently or you might see a different side to someone working with them in a certain context if that makes sense like you might have been friends with someone from childhood and then they offer you something that you you never saw them that way before if that makes sense and it's something monetary it's something stable you might even be going on a trip for some of you i just got like hiking or like something outdoorsy but definitely some ideas there may be an idea you've had to contact someone 
and to try and make things work with them or to start a new beginning with them. Let me see. Yeah, someone you walked away from. We've got the Eight of Cups here. Someone you might have walked away from and all of a sudden you're like, oh, do you know what? That person maybe wasn't so bad. Maybe I can do something new with them. Maybe I can see them in a different way. You know, we've got the chariot here with the Six of Pentacles. So I feel like generosity of spirit here could really sort of help push you along your path. Yeah, and we've got Knight of Cups, which I feel like the Knight of Cups is a beautiful energy for really imagining your reality into being like really using your imagination as fuel to access what i would say is the yin realm or the akash or the endless non-physical energies that are available to us i feel like that is your currency right now that is the good heartfelt stuff that will push you along your path and i'm getting the sense of you moving forward in a, in a beautiful way like Joy is a fast-moving energy, and what they're giving to me is that your generosity of spirit and your beautiful heartfelt actions, with a heartfelt intention behind those actions, you're just flying, and look, I mean, these are two cards where you can see the sort of flying connotations on these cards, so spirit's telling you a little bit of love makes you fly, you know, that's the kind of vibe I'm getting here. And we've got the King of Swords, which is pulling my curiosity with the four of cups yeah it's almost like saying too much intellect too much logic and not enough heart can really take timelines down different different ways so i would refrain from being too logical at this time and i would try and just operate from a higher vibrational spiritual place to really transform things if that's what you you want to do right now especially with the sun energy here i feel like it's a uh, really powerful for you to really become aware of the non-physical energies at your disposal um, and really zone into the background energies obviously I've just started this channel I've got to find my feet a little bit and you know but what I'm really trying to do with people is to really open up their minds that the invisible energies are equally as or even more so important than the physical ones or what we perceive to be the physical ones so I will get a lot smoother and a lot more concise as I just find my feet and um, roll into these energies. So justice here. So this could be someone you're dealing with. Maybe you've been concerned that someone hasn't been being fair to you or speaking in a fair way. This is confirmation with the King of Wands and the Four of Wands that someone has been being fair to you and what they've been telling you is the truth. I feel like for some of you that may have been worried whether or not someone's been honest with you i think this is a clear indication that this person means business okay whoever this king of wands represents is an energy now the king of wands is, is very much a fiery warm-hearted a leader a boss and the four of wands is all about stability and home and celebration so i feel like if you've been dealing with a partner they have been being fair and just with you here and the way they've been conversing with you has been fair and it looks like a great situation here with this King of Wands and the Four of Wands. Um, I'm going to look at the Ten of Wands again here with the Nine of Wands. Can you tell me about the Crown Chakra positioning, please, Spirit? Ace of Swords. Okay, that's, that's good in that positioning again. The Ace of Swords is all about clarity, vision. Okay, it's about seeing clearly, thinking clearly, speaking clearly. And I feel like maybe that's what this Ten of Wands is about. Sometimes we need to clear away the debris by being very clear, very concise and almost cutting. So, you know, sometimes when I've learned over the years to really assert myself, there'll be a part of me that won't necessarily feel comfortable with doing that. You'll almost feel like you're being mean, especially if you've been a people pleaser in your life or whatever. Not that I normally get people pleaser vibes from Aries. You guys are pretty amazing with putting yourself across and I feel like whatever is burdening you will get cleared up pretty quickly like I say you're not far off a situation being completely cleared I feel a real sense of icy clarity from that ace of swords um, it looks pretty good to me and we've got the emperor on the bottom of the deck which is your card and the ace of wands and the sun wow look at that 
So to summarize, Aries, speak with conviction, flow your heart in a beautiful, generous way, get creative, okay? There may be someone from your past even that you wanna get creative with, with the Six of Cups, and focus on you and getting rooted and grounded and manifesting all the things you want. Thanks for being here, Aries, and if you feel like liking, commenting, or subscribing after this reading, I would really appreciate it. I'm going to get a lot more information out here, so have a bit of faith in me. I love you lots, and hopefully see you again soon.